But before we do that, we're going to have a your we're going to have cat's curiosity. So your piece of science news this week that has interested you. Of course. Well, I tell you what. When I was looking for my piece of science uh, news this week, I I thought well we're a quarter of the way roughly about uh, through twenty twenty one. Yeah. So let me do a little bit of research about the greatest scientific discoveries of twenty twenty one. Okay. So far, and uh, for some reason something popped up to uh, as I was looking because it was only this afternoon I was looking and something popped up. And it said, it was a Neil Armstrong said, on this day, um, 50 odd years ago, Neil Armstrong flew uh, an X-15 to 54,600 metres. Now, I'd never heard of the X-15. And I thought, well, just, I like Neil Armstrong. Let me have a look at that instead. And then I'll come back to the greatest discoveries of this year. Um, Now, the X-15 was an experimental plane. um, And he was only one of 12 pilots to fly it. But just... Just take a, we're, t- we're talking over 50 years ago here. How fast do you think this plane went? Uh, in what, miles an hour? In miles an hour, yeah. Miles an hour. Um, hmm. I see I'm going to either go really high or really low, and it's going to... Um, 700 miles an hour. Right. What, when I was looking, it said that this was the fastest plane that had ever been built and remains to this day the fastest plane that's ever been built. And I thought this was a typo, okay? 4,534 miles an hour. What? Four, yeah, 4,534 sort of- miles an hour. It was nearly touching Max 7. It was hypersonic. What sort of... And I thought that... Go on. What sort of G-forces is that going to... I've I've no idea, but it, but he, the actor would stand. I think was it twenty thousand miles an hour at the right. fastest yeah, in the yeah. okay. uh, moon mission. Yeah, but um, I thought that's got to be an error. That can't be right. Four and a half thousand miles an hour for a plane. So I I spent about half an hour looking about this plane, and it is it is true. Um, it uh, it it was launched mid air by a B fifty two bomb. It would drop it at about five hundred uh, five hundred meters up. Not five hundred meters up. Uh, five hundred. Oh, I've got that bit wrong. I can't remember how high it's got to be up. 500 miles an hour, sorry, it had to be travelling okay. when it was yeah, dropped. Yeah. I think it was 45,000 feet. There we go. Um, and then it had enough fuel to to burn for about two minutes, but no more than that. Right. And it would reach these ridiculous speeds in two minutes. So that's quite an acceleration. And then it wouldn't have any fuel left, so it would have to glide like a glider back what? down to the earth at 200 mile an hour, and they landed them on lake beds. And it was, so it was experimental, but it remains to this day the fastest plane ever built. And I just thought that was, that was incredible. Four and a half thousand miles an hour for a plane. That's an amazing fact. I'll, t- I'll tell you who would know, would have known that. Uh, one of our early guests, Amy from Vintage Space, she knows all about that sort of stuff, doesn't she? Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. It would have, uh, have been good to... She, she was the one who ruined my childhood about space shuttles. She basically said they're what rubbish. What was it she said? She said they're rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> she said they're a waste of time. Uh, and I was like, no... And then she was bringing up all these points, and I was like, yeah, okay, yeah, I, I can see that. And then I'm like, oh, well, I love them. Oh, well, that's all right. So, I mean, my people people uh, love collecting old Morris Miners and stuff like that. They're nice. They've got some nostalgia about them, but yeah. you wouldn't want to race one around a racetrack, would you? No, absolutely. No, yeah, good point, good point. I, it, it will always, I'll always love it because it's 100% in the 90s when I was growing up as a kid, the first kind of thing I really saw about space travel were the space shuttles and... Mm. Uh, I think it always will, always will, be a part of my history in terms of my love of that sort of thing. Um, that's really nice, mate. Thank you for that. That's a really interesting fact. <laughs>